Hi guys, is it still too early for Fool of the Week? Because GB News host Andrew Pierce, who goes by the name Tory Boy Pierce on social media, believes that there's a simple way to stop the boats. So he was speaking to two guests, one on the left and one of the right on this issue. Pierce described the current numbers of people crossing the English Channel as manna from heaven for Nigel Farage and reform. But as rightly pointed out by one of the guests, Farage doesn't have a solution to this problem, where Pierce butted in and provided his own answer. Have a listen to this. The migration problem could become a real issue in the run-up to the election because look, the, the, the it is a, it is it already is. They're pouring across the channel in ever greater yeah, numbers. But, the, but you see, they're not talking about it. No. They they appointed this but famous Nigel border Farage czar yeah. who was supposed to sort it out. Yeah. And the only thing, the first two turned down the job, not surprisingly. The third one, Martin Hewitt, ex-policeman, said. Uh, the only thing he's said so far is that the government's plans have no chance of success. Because they need a deterrent. So they're doing nothing about it. The other day we had a thousand people yeah. come in, in on the boats illegally. A thousand in one day. So if you work that out, it's 360,000 roughly just across the channel in the dinghies. For goodness sake, this is insanity. And it costs every British taxpayer, every illegal immigrant costs the and, British and, and taxpayer. This, this, is, this is political manna from heaven for Nigel Farage's reform party. Yes, it You're is. You're breathing down the neck of the yeah, Labour Party in 100 seats. But I mean, the, qu the question is, what do you do about it? So at the moment, we, we've got the, the border security security command that uh, Keir Starmer has set up is just about starting, so we can't expect a result at the moment. I don't know if that's going to work either, because the previous one that the conservative, Conservatives had didn't work. Um, but no one is coming up, as far as I can see, with a practical way of dealing with well, this. Well, I was watching some footage, the, uh, rather good old footage of Margaret Thatcher in the House the other day, and someone was asking her about what, what was she going to do about uh, immigration, and she said said simply, we will send them back. But how and, you, but I mean, send them back to where? Why start sending these people back but to so, the countries they came from? But it, the question is, where do you send them back to? If they come from a safe country... France. If they no, come you, from the channel, send them back to France. That's where they came from. Well, but they're not, they're not in France to, to yeah, be but, in France. Yeah, they're they in, France in France to get here. Yeah, but they were in France. Yes, but they were somewhere else before that. Travellers. They were there. Send them back. But then they were somewhere else before France. Yeah, but, well, so they then may have Fra come, well, then come through. Send them back to where they came from. And the, but, but where do you stop this process well, going? I, that's France's issue. They came here from France, send them back to France. Job done. <laughs> Just send them back to France. Job done. And what if France say no? Oh, damn it, our entire political solution to this has completely collapsed. This is nonsense. It's nonsensical thinking. Let's just send people back to France. Okay, but once again, if France say, no, you can't. So if you have a ship loaded up with people and you send it to Calais and the Calais authorities say, you're not allowed to dock, then what happens? See, there's a problem there. So you need to have an agreement with the French if you want to send people back to France. But it's not sending people back to France because these people are not coming from France, they're coming through France. This is part of the problem as well. These are not French citizens leaving France to claim asylum in Britain. These are people passing through France. They have to pass through France because there isn't a safe route. If you had created a safe route from other countries, then they wouldn't be in France. They would just fly into Britain and claim asylum or travel through France and get on the ferry and, and get into Britain that way. They would just pass through France. But these people are still passing through France because they have to. And they have to cross the channel in dinghies because they're not allowed to use safe routes. But once again, you can't just send people back to France unless you have an agreement. And Brexiteers like uh, Pierce here don't want to have a, an agreement with France. They just want to send people back there. Once again... Can you imagine if it was the other way around? Can you imagine if the French were arriving at British shores with, with asylum seekers and trying to dump them on, you know, in the port of Calais? What would the British government say to that? What would Brexiteers say about that? So they would say no. So do you honestly think that the French were just going to, you know, roll over and say, okay, well, we have to take these people back because Nigel Farage wants them sent over here or... Rishi Sunak or Keir Starmer, whoever's in charge, wants to send these people over here. It's not going to fly. And if you want to send people to, back to their home countries, what if they're coming from Afghanistan? 
Are you going to have a deal with the Taliban? I don't think that's likely. So this is a complicated issue. It, there is no simple solution. Although there is a solution, and that's safe routes. But the right wing don't want to entertain the idea of safe routes. They would prefer to see people drown in the sea than to prov provide a safe route that would avoid that. Now, when it comes to Nigel Farage, yes, this is manna from heaven for Nigel Farage because Farage is not interested in actually providing workable solutions. He's interested in sitting on the sidelines pretending to have solutions, saying the other side are not doing it right. Like with Brexit, you know, he, he knew that he would never have to implement Brexit. He, would, he knew he would never have to take responsibility for Brexit. That's why he keeps saying that the Brexit that was delivered was not a good one. If he had been in charge, he would have delivered a wonderful Brexit. If he was in charge, he would be able to stop the boats. But he knows he will never have to be in that position. So it's easy for him to sit on the sidelines and say, you're doing it wrong. And idiots like this guy will regurgitate that, not knowing or pretending not to know that it's not a simple case of sending people back to France. Let me know in the comment section, guys, what you think. As always, your comments are greatly appreciated. Thanks a lot.